salutations friends welcome back to my channel today is going to be a fragrance review specifically a review on the fragrance i got this month from ascent bird um and it's going to be from artiste and it's the architects club if you want to know what i think about this fragrance then keep watching <laughs> This is not a sponsor video. I spend my own money on this subscription, but I realized I get these every month. I try them out and I don't really talk about them on my channel unless I'm doing a specific themed video. And I thought maybe I should start letting you guys know the fragrances that I want to try um, because I'm interested in purchasing them. I mean, all of them are, but the ones that I pick specifically from Scentbird, I'm really super serious. Like they're on my probably going to buy if I love immediately list or if I don't like it I'm bitterly disappointed um, and the architects club is no exception I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this fragrance and I've been wanting to try it for myself now this is from 2014 and it is a unisex fragrance let me read you the notes and then I'll let you know what I think of it the notes are juniper berry oil angelica root lemon peel oil bitter orange pepperwood guyac wood oak wood vanilla absolute and amber um, I've worn this a bunch of times, so let me just tell you what I think. There's some pros and cons with this fragrance, and I kind of wanted to go into that. Um, this is one of the fragrances, again, that I was super interested in trying. Again, I've heard some praise, some super praise about this fragrance, and some eh, middle of the road, and some negative thoughts on it. So I came into this with expectations all over the place. First and foremost, um, I sprayed a little bit on this here piece of paper. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about the opening. The opening to me is a little bit warm. Um, it's very peppery and it's just a touch bitter and I actually really like that. Sometimes you want your fragrances to not be the norm. You want them to be a little bit out of the box, but maybe not so much out of your comfort zone. This definitely fits that bill. The other thing about this fragrance is, is that from the very beginning to the very end, you're always going to get a little hint of juniper, which is really, really nice. And I love juniper. It's a fantastic note that I always look for in fragrances. The best thing I can say about this is the juniper mixes really nicely with the pepper, and it's a really unique, not so much floral, but kind of like warm yet bitter fragrance, and I really love that. Overall, fragrance-wise, I didn't have many problems with this, except that after it dried down and wore on my skin a little bit, the vanilla got to be a little bit synthetic, um, so I wasn't too excited about that. But other than that, it's not bad. It's actually a really nice fragrance. I do, I've been really into pepper fragrances last night. My husband and I was joking, he's like, you should just grind pepper and just rub it all over it. And I'm like, that sounds painful and inconvenient. But I've really just been into pepper, 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 and just spice. Not like spicy, but spice fragrances. And this is the reason why I wanted to try that. Um, the the notes, and again, if I don't look at the notes and read the notes, I will say the wrong notes and think I'm saying the right notes. That's why I look over here. What got me really interested in this was the amber and the pepperwood and the juniper wood and the guyac wood. Um, and I do definitely get woody notes in this. I get peppery notes in this. And the bitter citrus in this is really, really nice. I like really biting citruses. You can probably tell by my tone, there's a few things about this fragrance that I'm not liking. First and foremost, this sits, and again, anything I'm telling you from the beginning of this review to the end is based purely on my experience. Test it for yourself if you want to try it, and obviously other people with different body chemistries in different environments, it's going to perform differently. But I'm just giving you my um, review based on me wearing this for about a week and a half. This fragrance sits too close to the skin for what it is. It has, to me, like no siage at all. My husband had to put his nose on my arm and he was comfortable doing that because he could barely smell it the second he could smell something he always jerks his head away he doesn't like it but he'll always try because he knows i'm trying to find fragrances that work well for him he didn't mind this because he couldn't smell it not because it's a nice fragrance not because it worked nice on my skin because i can wear this around him <laughs> and not bother him. Which is nice, very much so because there's sometimes you want a very personal, intimate fragrance. But this is e was even hard for me to pick up on my skin. And so if you have to put your nose on the area where you applied your fragrance to smell, 
it might need to work on Siage a bit. The longevity on this as well wasn't too good. I get about two, maybe three hours if I over apply. It's not the biggest deal. A lot of the other perfumes that I love so much perform that way, but they work a little bit better when it comes to Siage. <clears throat> When it comes to, they work a little bit better when it comes to sillage or maybe the notes are just perfect that I don't mind reapplying. But the thing with this is it's got like three strikes for it. <clears throat> it's got the fact that after a little bit, the vanilla gets very synthetic. It's literally a personal fragrance. It's a very intimate fragrance. You will not be able to smell it. I was not able to, and my husband understand he can pick up fragrances when they're very intimate fragrances. He could barely smell this on my skin and I had applied it literally, it was still kind of wet on my skin. He could barely experience it. And the longevity is an issue. So the problem with me is, is that although the fragrance of this when I smell it is practically really what I've been up my alley recently, which is kind of like a bitter, peppery, woody unisex fragrance, this doesn't quite make it which makes me really sad because I really really like it so I'm glad I didn't buy this blind because it is a little bit more of an expensive bottle but I'm going to give this entire thing a go usually sometimes if I get sunbirds or samples I'll wear it a few times and I might not I might be a third of the way through and then I'll buy a bottle and then use this to apply if I wear it out and I need to reapply throughout the day I think if I decide to purchase this, I will need to go through an entire little thing of this and decide if it's something worth adding to my collection. Scent-wise, I think it's really interesting. It's really light. It's really nice. It's right up my alley right now for what I've been looking for in fragrances. Unfortunately, because of the slight synthetic note or the pronounced synthetic note in the vanilla after I've worn it for about half an hour, and the longevity and the sillage, I'm probably at this point going to pass that. It's not that I hate it, it's that it let me down because I was really excited to try it after reading the notes. And the juniper in this is really beautiful. If the vanilla, if one of the other things wasn't there, I'd probably consider it more. If it lasted a little bit longer on my skin, maybe three to four hours. If the sillage was a little bit better to where you could smell it if you gave me a hug and not literally trying to enter my body through my skin. <laughs> or if the vanilla wasn't so synthetic after about half an hour. If one of those things was gone, I would be okay. But we'll see. I'm going to wear through this. If I end up getting it, I'll let you know why and I'll probably... And I'll probably update the channel, like especially if I do a haul and I'm like, hey, I ended up getting with some, you know why. But as of right now, I would say this is something you should definitely sample first because maybe on my skin it just doesn't work sillage and longevity wise. But I've, a lot of the reviews that I saw that were negative were talking about the synthetic notes. We're talking about it having no sillage. Um, so I came into this review thinking it was going to per uh, perform that way, but hoping maybe those people were being a little tough on it. But I mean, like nothing. If my husband can't smell it and he is so sensitive to smells, then there's something up with this formula. So this is going to be currently, we'll see, because I do like the fragrance, specifically the juniper in this. So we'll see. But I don't know. At this point, I just don't know. And I'm gonna stop babbling, but yeah. If you guys have any experience with this brand or the specific fragrance, you think I'm being too hard or you think I'm hitting the nail on the head, let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you like videos like this, specifically my fragrance videos, give this a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe. It's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time.